So what's going on guys, my name is Mr. Dalek JD, and today I'm going to be teaching you a really cool technique on Der Eisendrak in order to get yourself an upgraded bow on round 3. Now if you're playing in co-op, you could get this even earlier than round 3, if you get lucky with double points, max ammos, and maximizing the amount of points you can get from the zombies. Now you're probably thinking, how on earth can you get an upgraded bow by round 3? Surely that is impossible, and it normally is, but we have a really cool technique which allows us to actually bring more zombies into the round so we can actually complete it and get a bow much earlier which is very useful as well for trying to get the easter egg done at a lower round now what you want to do is follow exactly what i'm doing in this video i'm doing this on solo but like i mentioned in co-op it is easier as you have more zombies and more players who have points of course but for the starting two rounds i'm shooting six bullets into a zombie's leg and then knifing it and making sure that when i knife it i back away from the zombies just in case they drop a nuke which we do not want at all but if they do drop something at least it gives us some time to look at what it actually is before picking it up but the first two rounds is what I tend to do until I'm out of ammo and then I'll just knife the zombies twice in order to kill them and you want to have around about 2,500 to 3,000 points by the end of round two that will allow us to open up this side to the first dragon and we can start going ahead and knifing the zombies here now I will admit you need to be quite good at training with zombies in order to get this down fully well because you're going to have like basically a whole horde of zombies that you're just going to be very slowly one at a time trying to shoot a knife at any point if you get max ammos during this process on around about round three you want to make sure you're just shooting their legs and literally just wasting the ammo basically to not kill the zombies but to get as many points from them as possible now to move from this first dragon head to the power you need around about 2750 points exactly i got extremely lucky with my double points and max ammos here so i had around about 5000 points which gave me a ton of points to work with but you want to open up the power switch and then this can be done with whatever you prefer to do if you want to do the dragon head by the fireplace in the church or if you want to do the underground dragon head it's completely up to you i prefer to do the dragon head one first at the bottom just to make sure I have enough time to stand on all of the anti-gravity plates because we're going to need that later on of course for parts of the easter egg and for the bow that you want I'm doing the lightning one which I feel is probably the easiest but all of the bows require souls so no matter what you're going to be able to get whatever upgraded bow of choice you want doing this method now I'd advise building the shield as early as you possibly can just because in these low rounds even though the zombies are going to be slow there's going to be a lot of them so it is going to be quite tricky so having a shield on your back is going to be perfect now if you do not have 2500 points by the end of round three you do not have enough to complete and get your bow upgraded on this round so you're going to need to go ahead and go over to the next round we're aiming to get this between round three and round five round three is the goal which i've got in this gameplay but as long as you can get it before round five i think you've done pretty well but we need 2500 points as the door to the teleporter room costs 1500 and it costs 500 points to teleport there and back now this this is going to be where it's key if you have 2500 points by the end of round three then you're laughing but if you don't just go ahead and go to the next round it's fine but try and get that many points so you can get yourself the bow and then we can go travel over there now this is where the magic happens and in this area Every five to seven minutes in real time, not in game time, but five to seven minutes in real time, the rocket test will go off and you'll hear Dr. Maxis say that and you'll have 10 seconds to leave that area. Now, usually this is what you need to have activated in order to get yourself one of the Ragnarok pieces. And in order to do this, you need to pull a lever. Now, normally you run back through the doors before they close and then you fend off in there. But instead, we're going to pull that lever and then we're going to go and use the Wonder Sphere and jump out of there. And what's going to happen it's going to spawn around about 20 more zombies in the round you're in all around the map. This is what we're going to use to get ourselves additional zombies in the rounds and be able to complete all of the steps we need to get ourselves an upgraded bow without having to actually go over into the next round. So now I'm onto the souls part of my bow upgrade process and as you can see I have about 20 zombies on the map so I have no worries at all in filling all of these up so I go around to all the areas, I fill them up and then I try my best to shoot 
the places that need to be shot with the electrical arrow. Now if you're getting low on zombies again doing this process make sure to not kill off all of the zombies but just make sure that you wait between five to seven minutes of real time. Normally whilst you're trying to do this you'll have noticed times passed anyway and you'll be close to another rocket test which means if you bounce over there and pull the lever again when the rocket test is going on you'll spawn in another 20 or so zombies. And as you can see here I've just got my bow upgraded from doing this process. Now all in all it took around about half an hour from start to finish of me starting the game to me getting my upgraded bow which does seem like quite a long time but if you're going for a high round or going for an easter egg run the earlier you do these steps the easier it's going to be and the easier the panzers will be in the final boss fight. It may take a little longer than usual in terms of going through the rounds like normal to upgrade the bows but this is so so easy as the zombies are so slow and it will just give you a chance to make sure you've got everything sorted and ready to go as early as possible. In theory you only need to go through to the next round once ever if you're doing the easter egg and that is to go back in time for a second time to get the stone slab so you could finish this as early as round three or round four in solo. It does take a heck of a long time to set that up but it is possible but I hope you guys found this guide useful in getting the upgraded bow as early as possible. Normally you'd never see an upgraded bow kind of lower than round say maybe eight but with this you can easily get the bow upgraded as early as possible. Now as a side note to this if you do end up getting the Ragnarok part which you normally get from doing this lever process you won't be able to repeat this step any further meaning you won't be able to spawn any more zombies in so make sure you've gotten everything you've wanted to do spawning more zombies in before you go for that last Ragnarok piece. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did drop it a like rating make sure to subscribe for more videos like this and I'll catch you in another one soon.